this final video help, we're going to be covering navigation through the application. <clears throat> That's done mostly on the app map. And what you see here, we've already gone through. I'm going to touch on some of the screens that we haven't talked about. For example, I have the customer, then I have a customer list view. Let's go there. Customer list view is a list of each record for each customer that's in your database. On this screen, you'll see the customer name, the primary contact, the address, the city, state, province, home, phone, cell phone, customer status, and follow-up status. It also has the type of client, the contact date, original, contact uh, wants, contract source, in this case it was a flyer, and if they bought or sold, and the property notes. In this particular case, if you wanted to do a find, you go over and do a start find, and any field in here can be used, including the text field, where you can search for keywords or and or a phrase. What's nice about doing things on this sheet is if you have follow-ups that are required, uh, where you have to do each day and make sure that you're following these up, uh, you cannot search for uh, fields like this in the calendar appointments, but you can come to this screen from the calendar appointments uh, by going through the main calendar to here, and you can go ahead and use the find to find any appointment that is equal to the date that you're looking for, or a date thereafter, or a date range. So if you want to look at the, say, a whole week ahead, you can click in here once, click in twice, and then you would do a greater than or equal to, which is this and the equal sign. And then that would get you every day thereafter this one. Or you can do the reverse of that, say less than or equal to, and put another date. And it would bound you by the dates starting this one and whatever date you do on the end. So if I put 930, it would give me 92 to 930. And then it would show me all the records for that time period. This is a, an important way to find things in different screens. If you're on the frequently asked questions uh, part of the uh, uh, support site, you can go ahead and there's videos on it that show you different things you can do as far as managing data in finds. Uh, so this is the list view. Let's go look and see what's next. By the way, you can use this to go back to the customer screen, which is a hot link, or you can use the uh, other drop-down menu. The related contacts we showed you before, and I'm just showing you how quick it is to navigate through these. There's actually a list for the related contacts, and this gives you information as far as each person in all the family members in or and or special people that are related to, like here's a, a selling agent. So if you needed a selling agent's telephone number, email, or whatever, you could do that, and then you can always click in and to the portal and see the, all the information on this particular person. The next one we're going to go look at is the UDF. Now this is nothing more than a set of fields, but you can do finds in here. So if you wanted to find a specific record ID or and or what was in the title or the input field, you could check all the records that have ever had any data entries in them that match what you put in your find and that's what it'll bring up and show you those screens and then you can cycle through them. Then you have an activity track portal, which we covered, and it's list view. Uh, as far as the list itself is the actual screen that you can print. The same thing for the action track and the action list, the meeting track and meeting list. We've already gone through the property uh, listing screen, but we'll go back there. And you can see the property listing screen, and this one has the additional information from the MRLS and the date that the description was taken. And that's important information as far as following the time and uh, position of the actual original uh, ad to the MRLS and the end of the contract date. Or this could be your listing with your listing date and your opening and closing dates when your contract runs out. Let's go down and look at the next one, which is the uh, showing portal. This is the portal that has the individual information. If you come over here, you can do a find in this screen to find a specific phrase, word, or date, range, or ID. Then there's a list view for the property that shows you all the properties that are listed. You can do a search in here for a specific product property 
or a record for one or more of your clients as far as multiple records that might be in here that have different periods of different things that you've done for them. And you can get back to the property listing by clicking on this or and or back on the main menu. And then we are going to the data portal, which is the large one we showed before, where you can have images or contracts or drawings or whatever it may be that you need. Let's go into the, uh, let's go back to the customer screen and then go back over here to the uh, offer portal. And in the offer portal, it gives you all the summary totals and information as far as the loans and so forth. And you can do a find in those if you needed to for the record ID or some figure that you have in here. The next one is the photo portal, which is the full size screen where you have images that are for the property itself. And there's two per portal, so you have two different uh, screen images. If you want to return to the uh, main screen, you would just go ahead and pick the uh, main menu pop down here or leave some comments or change them. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the next screen, which is the sales graph. And the sales graph is based on uh, a time period where you can do a search in the actual uh, records for the real estate sales and then see a graph of what was sold during that period of time. So that would be a date range uh, search. And we go ahead and do a do action in here to do the find. Let's go back over to the uh, birthday listing. The birthday listing is a listing of all the clients for a specific thing for a period of uh, through the contract where it is a birthday that's within a range of a certain set of dates. And the first date up here, apparently we didn't get a birthday in there, but uh, you can see the information for that particular person and their contact information. And you can go to the related contacts portal to get to that particular record by clicking out here on the individual records to go to see that record. The next one is the anniversary listings, very similar to the last one we looked at and you can go ahead and go to those related contacts for that information. Now, one of the important things is that this application can be modified to fit your requirements. If you needed to modify something in the calendar, the appointments, or any other portion of this application, you would want to go ahead and contact me about the basic application, or what we call the base app, and if you wanted to make changes on it, we would go over that and I could explain what we can do. And uh, then if there are any limits or any restrictions, I would let you know that. And then I'll quote that, those changes to whatever you really are actually looking for. So you would know the full price of the application, which is the base price, plus the additional charges to have them modified to fit your requirements. If you have any questions or you need to contact me, please go to the FAQ on the main site at ontargetsolutions.biz and then you can ask your questions on that, that particular page. Thank you.